the other one I wanted to mention is in Hoxton, uh, near, near the Welsh border. Um, it's in a, a, a very odd landscape that some of you may know because it was used as Narnia in the BBC um, filming of, 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 of the Lewis epic. But there was a, a, a hermitage built there in, in, in the 18th century. And the hermit was called Father Francis in the guidebook. And Father Francis was 90 years old. And although the guidebook was reprinted every few years, Father Francis didn't get older. He was always 90 years old. And it appears that the part of Father Francis was played by the gardener. But when the gardener was unavailable for whatever reasons, presumably gardening duties, there was an automaton put in in his place. And the automaton could, um, uh, could speak. Uh, and although the mechanism for doing so isn't entirely clear, uh, sometimes there was, there was a, a real person there ventriloquizing the voice. And uh, he could recite a poem that was uh, on the back wall about the, uh, the life of a hermit. Now, it appears that the, uh, the gardener in question who acted the part of the hermit for visitors was a man called Mr. Jones. Uh, not a rare name in that part of the of the world, and the post of hermit at Hoxton seems to have been hereditary. So there are there is a succession of Mr. Jones's playing the part of the hermit, and one of the things I found while researching the book was a photograph from the early days of photography in the 1860s of Mr. Jones the hermit um, standing in his doorway um, cradling a, um, a, a human skull. And, and looking bearded and contemplative, a very dignified way to look in my view. And when at the beginning of the 20th century, Hoxton became a, a hotel, one of the people who lived there remembered that there was still a hermit in the grounds and people, the guests at the hotel could go out and, and, and see the hermit. And that family kept going. And as late as 1983, there was a guide to Hoxton called Mr. Jones, who alas, didn't wear a hermit's costume, but was still part of the extraordinary dynasty of the hermits of Hoxton, who began in the 18th century. That hermitage was burnt down a couple of years ago, but it has been reconstructed and it's a wonderful reconstruction. And should you decide to go hermit hunting, it's definitely a place that you should visit.